Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea. We're currently at Port Cavendish on the Isle of Cats. And we've been given a task. We are to deliver red honey to London for our friend, the Merchant Venturer, for whom we also have Zoop. Now, my plan of attack is to go first to the Mangrove College, pick up a shady sort there, then we head on... Uh, North to Guider's Morn, make a stop by Mutton Island, and then get back to London. That's a plan, anyway. We'll see how that plan goes, how much of it we have to cut due to supplies and, well, fuel. Now, first of all, uh, Mangrove College, yep, still directly to our left. To the west. Hmm... It's gonna be a balance between fuel and terror. That's gonna be my main concern at the moment. Ah, uh, the Sea of Autumn. Delightful place. We recall the birds. Ah. Love the music, though. I will say, I do like how the music changes for each area, and it's always in some vaguely positive way. Well, not positive, necessarily, but some interesting way. Ah, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I'm not a fan of the Port Cecil's music. Or any of the northeasterly areas at the moment. They're all very uh, unsettling. But this place, it's got a nice piratey beat. Let's pick up a passenger. Got a shady sort, wants to get to Guider's Morn. Okay. Could gather supplies. Could do, could do. Oh. Solace fruit, you say? Hmm. This would require seven memories of distant shores. Not quite willing to do that. Let's compile our port report first, before we do anything else. Gets us some supplies. Always delightful. Could eat, drink, and be merry. Get rid of some of the terror, so it's less of a concern. And... I'm curious enough. Let's go into the Wispways. The swamps around the village are full of mud. Crocodiles and vegetable treasures, including the notorious parasite called Solace Fruit. The fogs and spreading branches occlude all light. We'll take one of our supplies, but we just got one, so why not? You can leave at any time, but if you get in far enough, you'll generally find something interesting. We found fat white mosquitoes so far. Oh, hello, what the heck is that? Well, that's new. Um, okay, so this is sort of like the surface. Interesting. Narrow waterways and quaggy paths, marshlights and mud, now and then parasynthetic, parasynthetic mosses like shaggy curtains, now and then a questing tentacle. Delightful. Each event will take you further into the swamp, go deep enough and you'll find something interesting. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so each one of these is going to consume a candle. I wonder if that's the case for the other places as well. Hmm. Well, we're here. We might as well give it a shot. A calamity of ants. Shining bodies burst from the pitcher plants around you. A thick mat of ants swarms in ambush. Flee. Ah, a failure. And we lost a crew member. One sailor trips, and the ants pour over him like oil. His screams pursue you through the trees. Found an abandoned fort? Propagation the Mangrove College. Intriguing. Well, we might as well. A half-fallen fortress of basalt blocks on a low hill. The creatures of the swamp have stayed clear. There's insufficient mud, perhaps. A respite. You mount a guard on the walls, build a fire of stinking peat, upend your boots to evict sulky tadpoles. 
The swamps around you resound with sobbing whoops and screeching creaks, but nothing shows itself. Time passes. The burial interrupted, abandoned as if only moments ago. But pale fungus had grown on the woolen cap where it remained by the graveside, and the potted meat was a grail of putrescence. We peered over the grave's edge. I mean, we don't have any more candles, but we can do that. <gasps> you glorious, glorious area! Something wonderful! A coffin? A coffin, with an unusual stenciled label. Atop it rested a gauntlet of sorts, marvelously articulated in its scales, delicate as a lady's glove of silvery metal. When I lifted it, it was ice cold to the touch. <gasps> oh! It's a gauntlet made out of heart metal. Interesting. Oh, and that just counts as an outlandish artifact, I suppose. Unfortunate. But more to the point. Let's go to the hold. Strategic information. Where Where are you? There you are. Right click. Use. How do we wish to convert this? Using our memory of distant shores? Z story, of which we only have one. I think the memory of distant shores. Time to put the pieces together. Make sense of a memory of distant shores, that telling detail. That's why, that's where, and now you know who. Fantastic, I'm really glad we made this little uh, trip. That was actually quite profitable. Ah, you. No, not you. Well, we'll go to Guider's Morn, and then straight on to Mutton Island, then Fallen London, I think. I should think that would be sufficient for us. Terror, is that an issue? No. Okay. We did lose a good chunk of crew. But, I'm okay with it. And don't you worry, we'll speak to the sigil-ridden navigator in due time. Uh, we found out more details earlier, but... For the moment, I have other concerns. Mostly getting back to London with such... Ah, you wonderful, wonderful people! Hello, how do you do, my friend? Oh, no, no, no. That's my position. There we are. A moment, please, while I teach this pirate a thing or two. Hmm. Well, I can confirm that damage is not tied to distance, for better or worse. Three more shots should do it. Hmm. Perhaps more. Hmm. No, what the... I was deeply upsetting. I wish you do not... I wish you would not do that again. There we are. Okay. Loot and scuttle it. Got some fuel, got some supplies. What do we got here? Prisoner's honey. Delightful. Which we can sell at Guider's Morn for a decent profit. Especially decent because we didn't pay for it. Wonderful. You know what, I'll even put the lights on for you kids. Ah, yes. I'm shocked the, that the nightmares haven't done anything to us yet. I would have expected something. Restless nights. Ah. Well, let's find out what you saw. More yelling about an eye. And a face. It's to be expected. Worrisome that that's just now expected. But it's 
to be expected. Hmm. Guiders mourn. Now, drop off our shady sort. And money. Again, some differential fellow in Fustian pays us. Oh, I suppose we could gather intelligence. Aha, more success. Hmm. Why not? Let's explore as well. I do like to turn the situation around. I got stories for you, friend. Unfortunately, I should not have used them. But, he's experienced horror and wonder, but so have you. And your tale is so much the fresher. You wrestle with each other's histories until at last he concedes. Here, he says, this is where it all began, with the astronomer and the ephemerides. He whispers in your ear. Some fragments. Not a very profitable use, but, um, well. Well, we shall take it. Another 124 fragments to gain a secret. We shall see what happens when the time comes. I think we should be able to make it back to Mutton Island, no problem. Get to London, no problem. And then... Then we'll plan out our next expedition towards the Shellanate. Unless, of course, uh, problems arise due to our possession of certain substances. Oh, dear. I mean, we should be fine. We did just get checked by the uh, ministry, so maybe they won't do it twice. Although we did just get suspicion, so, you know. Hello. Oh, the Abbey, which means, yep. We could go to the Abbey and sell all our supplies for a bit of a profit. Might not be the best idea. That actually... Yeah, sell two of our supplies, then use that last supply to just get us back to London. That's kind of sneaky. Which is why I'm going to probably do it. Uh, first though, hey buddy, I have an echo. Could uh, explore the shore. What do you got for me? Something glinting. Just bottled glass? Oh, a tangle of seaweeds and pearls. The stories there are about drowning pearls. They've never seen the inside of an oyster. Place one under your tongue and you can name the date of your own death. Don't place one under your tongue because they're the transformed eyes of sailors lost at Z. Stories aside, they'll fetch a good price. And we shall head towards the Abbey, sell our supplies, then go back to London. See what the vital intelligence buys us and... Hopefully, dodge uh, the old ministry. Or the other types that want to see what we have in our cargo. I'm also going to try to kill this guy, because then we can get rid of all our hunger, and then we can actually sell all three of our supplies. It'll be great. Come on. Yes. No. Why would you... Mm. I am not happy with you, Crab. You have damaged my plans. Well, one more trip to the Abbey. Hmm, or do we? How much of a risk am I willing to take? Well, no, we should be fine. That one barrel of fuel means we have 200% effectively. And yeah, we'll be fine. Effectively, we have two barrels. One barrel that we're burning now, one that is going to be a spare. 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's actually pretty hot. Um, but yes. That'll be fine. Then we go to London. Maybe we go to Station 3 afterwards. Then the Chelinate. Well, we'll make those plans later. First things first, trade our supplies. More supplies. 
and more supplies. And compile a report and watch the convent. We're getting a lot of strange catches. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find a use for them. Turn out the lights, kiddo. No need to let everyone know where we are. Ah, but now we can get back to London <sighs> and breathe a sigh of relief. Because we're fine. Everything's fine. There's jellyfish right near London, that's worrisome. But we're fine. Just fine. Even terror isn't that bad right now. Okay. Alright. Ha, huh, we might even have a barrel of fuel before we get to the end. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't even give me that. You're right next to shore. I don't want to hear any of this. Oh, we're terrified. Oh, none of that. None. Oh, that's interesting. So if it's green, it looks like it actually decreases terror. Well, it looks like it decreases terror. Ah, <sighs> docking. Breath of relief. More nightmare strength, unfortunately, but... Got our... Yes! Perfect. First of all, the Venturer's Desires. Uh, how about a shipment from the Lady of Cages? Hand it over then, but quietly. No need to track to attract any unwanted attention. The Venturer hands you a black medallion. Tell the Lady I'll send the usual payment by the expected channels. Mostly urchins this time, he adds. The Admiralty's cracking down. Huh. Interesting. Well. Have your zoo. They sell it in Mount Palmerston, somewhere in the north of the Untersee. 1,000 echoes for seven sealed skins. It's a specialist taste, but where I'm going, there are specialist customers. A uh, one more thing. I want something dark. And a lamentable relic. Hmm. Well, could go to Palmerston for those. It would take multiple trips, but it's possible. And seven sacks for 700. How much do these guys cost? Where's the... 50. So 50 times 7, which works out to be enough that it's profitable. Right? Let me make sure that that's what he's asking for. Seven sacks, 700. Now, admittedly, this is not the most profitable use of our echoes, and I just realized we didn't sell this back at Guider's Morn. Pity. Sell it now. And while this is not the most profitable option... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Yes, but as I was saying, not the most profitable option, but it is the safest. Gained two objectives. Hmm, weird. Odd, but okay. Something dark. They grow it in the Elder Continent to the south. You can find it in Adam's Way or Port Carnelian, or the Connate, perhaps. Seven under echoes. Yes, perhaps I just drink a lot of coffee. This will put fire in our belly, in all our bellies. We'll need that. It's cold out there. One more thing. I can just keep doing this? Seems kind of exploitative. We won't do that. Once is more than enough. Submit vital intelligence. What's that? Tell me quickly. Enthusiastic nods. Oh, and something new. I'm glad you brought this to me. I have a colleague of sorts. A diplomat, so-called. I will tell you because I trust you. This diplomat will pay better. But I'll put the information to better use. He leans forwards. There are powers in this world I cannot speak of. There are affairs of the Navy I am not proud of. Bring me more information like this, and we can set matters right. We now have Recovering. Supremacy London. Oh.
Well, we could... Hmm. Ask the Admiral what he thinks of the voracious diplomat. The diplomat, a half-legendary, all-infamous figure whose connection to the Admiralty is obscure. A frank scowl. An unprincipled scoundrel, the Admiral snaps. If you have intelligence, bring it to me. Don't go off the books. Hmm. We'll submit our report reports. Although, unless I am much mistaken, that looks like that's the voracious diplomat we discovered here. <gasps> and I wonder... I wonder... Avid Horizon, I hope you intend to tell me everything is quiet there. Of course, of course. But no, something more important. No. And what does the so-called Pirate King have to say for himself these days? Report submitted. Yes, well, we did rather know about his rose gardens. Not good news that they're prospering, though. Really should have nipped it in the, if you'll allow me, bud. Huh. And trading with the Khanate, with the Iron Republic, father. I may have to have a meeting about this. Ah, uh, Frost found. Salt Lions. And Visage. About the island that stares at me. Now, something I want to check. Do we have enough? No, not quite. But close. So tantalizingly close. Ah. The voracious diplomat. The diplomat layers near Mansion's Pyre in a second floor office above a gymnasium for pugilistic ladies and gentlemen. Your conversation is punctuated by distant shouts and blows. The diplomat smiles fondly at the sound. Could pick up an agent. I have a friend, the diplomat says casually, who would be grateful for a passage elsewhere. The Connate, for instance. Hmm. I could do with an intelligence network. A name and an address. Both are probably temporary, but they're all you need. Describe recent moves in the great game. Oh, yes. The diplomat takes no notes, only listens with utmost concentration, fingertips touching, eyes lightly closed. The payment is small, but welcome. Ask about their role. What kind of diplomacy is involved? A catly grin. The kind of displ the kind of diplomacy that doesn't get written down. I'm attached to the Admiralty, not the Foreign Office. London is not what she was, but she still has interests abroad. I look after them as best I can. I do hope you're patriotic enough not to ask for too many details. And the dark spectacled Admiral. Did they work closely together? Well now, the Admiral is a man of principle. Very straightforward, very traditional in his views. I think it's rather courageous of him to expect the Navy to operate without outside assistance. And he has excellent taste in both chamber music and wine. I hope that makes my feelings clear. Hmm. So both of you distrust the other. Of course you do. Now. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Well, oh, I could have brought the claim in here. <sighs> could have been profitable. Could have been, but was not. We'll buy some supplies, because for some reason our people want to eat. Some more Foxfire candles. This time, enough for the... Well, no, we'll buy ten because we will go to Nuncio eventually. Although we don't really need it for that. Um, well. Hmm. Plans, plans, plans. So many plans. Ugh. The alarming scholar. Um, well, we could give you an outlandish artifact, for example. We could give you our memory of distant shores, yes. A strange catch. Now, it says it's increasing, but it doesn't say to what point. It's increased to five. Excellent. Is there anything new? 
No. Well then, we'll prepare for our next trip into the deep. Carouse a little bit. Sea shanties, good companionship, and the warmth of a pub fire. But nothing more. Who's the new recruit? Nobody, just a Zailer. Cheap Zailer, though. Always useful. Always useful. Well then. We have many plans to make, but for now, thank you for your time, and we shall see you all soon.